ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am uh, driving back from Tackle Shop and I figured I haven't brought to you guys a little update, fishing report in a while. Um, but I've been kind of all over the place. And so I wanted to come to you guys with a, a video talking about where I've been fishing, what's been going on, um, and all that stuff. I'm gonna try to keep it short and uh, to the point, but uh, this is gonna cover Clear Lake and Lake Berryessa because uh, I was out there for three days um, and I'm gonna come to you guys with like my findings, right? Um, so let's start with Lake Berryessa since I don't talk about that place very often. And we got, there's some big tournaments coming out there uh, very soon. Um, and this is kind of what I figured out. Uh, the fish are still staging out well, not staging out, but you know, they're not in the backs of the pockets um, as much. Um, they're not pushing bait in the backs of those pockets or those creeks very, like, as much as I think they should for this time of year. Um, the unseasonably warm weather uh, has them pulled out, uh, at least the bigger fish. Don't get me wrong, we're catching some fish in the backs of the pockets with good grass uh, and, and all that good stuff on jerk bait, top water, uh, you know, finesse baits. Um, LV 500, all that good stuff. Um, but with that being said, a lot of the bigger fish are out on points um, and, and things like that. A lot of my bigger fish that we were running into out there, um, you know, were three pounders, three and four pounders. Um, they were coming right after you'd catch a little one. So you'd hook a six incher and then like another one would be chasing it in. Um, or you cast back out there and catch a catch like a four a four pounder or whatever a three pounder. Um, our biggest was like like right at four pounds, um, and then we, but it was a lot of like bites in between. You know not uh, you know not good bites either. Like a lot of little bites um, in the right spots, and it was just brutal. I mean you know not a lot of big bites. Um, I did have a client unfortunately lose a ten. I I don't know. It was a big fish. Uh, I like to tell myself it was like six or seven, but uh, it was a big one um, on a worm, um, on a point. So a lot of those big fish are stacked out, you know, ambush and bait as it comes by. Uh, the water clarity was 10 foot visibility, water temp 77 degrees, 74 to 77, something like that. Um, yeah, and, and I fished north and south, but stayed kind of on the main body. Uh, didn't really fish the narrows too much. Uh, Mark and bait in about 30 i would say a lot of bait was in like 15 to 20 um and i was marking bait on 35 and 40. tried to do the spoon wasn't really happening for good fish uh most of my better bites were coming in 20 feet 20 to 25 feet for the most part uh bites in general really uh caught fish on underspin jerk bait lv 500 spook uh, jig and a worm so that kind of covers that, right? Let's talk about Clear Lake. Uh, so I'm back, out, I'm back out here. I've been, I'm mostly out here. I mean, I was uh, on Berryessa for a few days, but uh, Clear Lake, you know, predominantly. And these fall fish are pushing. Um, even though it's hot, 100 degrees, 90 degree days, these fall fish are on the move, guys. I mean, a lot of, a lot of, you know, heartbreaks here and there, you know, with some, with some big fish on like chatter baits and square bills and worms around docks, you know, getting, they're getting wrapped up in docks guys and, and breaking off, um, which is, is really been brutal. Um, but the guys are getting them in, they're getting 10 pounders, eight pounders. Uh, some guy called like 1190 today in the BAM, uh, deal. And, and so these fish are pushing, they're pushing shallow and they're pulling up on, on deep points and things like that as well. Uh, there's a shallow bite and a deep bite right now, guys. Um, and, and it's kind of pick your poison on, on where you can get them. Um, I expect it to get even better shallow as we get into the cooler temperatures. Uh, but with that being said, there's this big fish moving in a lot of different places right now, guys. And, and you can catch them right now on a, uh, like I said, a square bill, chatter bait, LV, jig, worm, swim bait. I mean, like I said, pick your poison. You can catch one on it. Catch three pounders on it all day. Um, it's just what's getting the big ones, right? Uh, and, and like I said, it's about getting them in. You know, it's been a frustrating time frame lately uh, on the lake, just with a lot of big fish getting wrapped up and stuff. But, but man, it's it's it can be a, a really good day. Um, got you know sevens, sixes, uh, and fives lately. Um, going out with me and my girlfriend, um, and, and just fishing around. Uh, and it's been good. I mean, like I said big ones are chewing so if you guys want to book a trip 
now's your time. You know, the full moon in October is coming soon and these fish are gonna push all the way up until about three days before the full moon. And then it might get a little tougher. I'm not saying you can't catch them on the full moon. It just, the bite windows get tight, you know? Um, so I got availability middle October here. Um, I think, I think the mid, what, it's like 14th or something like that, I think, it, until like the 17th. Um, I have some days in there, right? Um, so hit me up if you guys wanna book a trip, uh, fill in the form on my website, shoot me a text. Uh, now's a great time to get a 10 pounder, not gonna lie. It's a great, great time. So um, let me know. But just wanted to come to you guys with a quick video, kept it short for you, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So catch you guys on the next one. See ya.